I'm going to make this year different by making it all the same. That's the kind of stuff you get when you work with this book. You know, you feel like, what am I? Is this 2,000 years ago? Whatever, I made a grocery store. And I'm watching a, a Raising the Dead experience. The course itself can stir the awakening, right? So when they open this up and they read it, they're like, what? I just, what did I just read? Yeah, it just felt like this miracle leading the way of this unknown. So obviously Jesus behind it all.
so you're my savior mm -hmm. because you asked me to join you and I said yes and I said this is why I'm back <laughs> because mm -hmm. I said yes spirit wants to you know use the voice uh, to bring light to uh, this topic and to bring joy to it because we can the mind rises above all of this when we really listen and follow and get in touch with our divinity my body and I think maybe I forgot I even had a body <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and The subtitle is, um, yeah, Spiritual Tools to Transcend Fear and Experience the Power of the Present Moment. Um, and it's 
non-compromising in terms of what is necessary, uh, what is necessary to uh, be free from the conflicts in your mind, um, to escape from fear. Really in my heart I feel the book is for everyone and I think when you have that peace within then you begin to experience a peaceful world. We were going to walk through this and, and go for it and it's so precious. It's all for this. <laughs> mm. A new kind of vibe and direction, the spirit direction. Time to start reaching out to all kinds of people, well, everyone, even people who haven't heard of spirituality. And that's what I feel like spirit is. We're all going to wake up at once. Like we're just following that inspiration and following the guidance moment to moment. And right now it looks like spirit. Dollar Ridge fire in Duchesne County. It's burning. The sky was just mystical. I was like, wow, what is happening? <laughs> Suzanne said, yes, it's a it's a wildfire. It had gone from 20 acres to 6,000 acres, boom, just like that. But we were still in the silent retreat when uh, it was the day before it was ending. But then the next day, we had our whole new group of volunteers coming in and set up for our Strawberry Fields Festival. Yeah, you're, you're going to have to take everyone to Canvas. Um, they're not to come out here to the monastery. Our plan, you know, of what we thought it would look like has just been completely undone. And so that just started us off in this foundation of um, we're just all in God's hands together. Um, yep, we're sustained by the love of God. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> You know, the way we do it, it is through relationships. That, that's why we talk about relationships a lot in, in this pathway and in the pathway of A Course in Miracles. Do you have judgment? Let's express it. Do you have attack thoughts? Let's express it. Not everything will be melted away in this moment. And that is an experience that nothing can stand in the way of love absolutely nothing, no skill, no past experience, no judgments, nothing. And you are loved if you open up your heart. That is the message. It struck me this morning just actually how powerful having this, because as you said, it's not outside of you. This represents, this is symbolic of a connection that is available all the time. and. It eliminates the excuses actually like it really does come down to a choice do I want to be right or do I want to be happy because there's not an excuse anymore that says well I don't know how or no I can't it's like no you can actually it's right here staring you right in the face asking you how are you feeling all you need to do is accept the invitation